the first major impact in terms of retirement saving is the amount. So you expect that when a person retires, they will go out with a larger kitty as opposed to what they were previously having. Simply because the contributions are now higher. And remember, the 6% contributions are graduated. In, in other words, the implementation is in a, gra in a graduated scale from year one to year five. So as the years uh, roll out, then the contributions level increase, such that by the end of year five, it is expected that uh, everybody will be contributing to NSSF uh, or NSSF contributions would be 6% of their pensionable earnings. And the pensionable earnings here include uh, basic salary plus fixed emoluments or those uh, allowances that are fixed in nature. So it's not based on the, the basic. So from that point, you will find that uh, uh, the contribution, the, the amounts will be higher. The next thing that is going to be key is that now, as opposed to the current situation where people are just receiving money in lump sum, you expect that now the retirees or, or people who have retired will be having lifetime income, which means it is expected that they will either go and buy annuity, which provides a regular pension for life, or uh, they can opt to get what we call income drawdown, which is another product that is a variation from annuity. So those are two key uh, benefits that uh, members would have. One thing that I also need to mention is that at the point of retirement, remember the old fund that people have been contributing to has been ring-fenced, the old NSSF fund. So people will get uh, their contributions from the old fund, which is a provident fund, plus the new contributions from 1st of February that will be going into a pension scheme.